Hey everyone, stick with us versus herd. Today was a crazy down day in the market. At one point, the Dow was down about 900 points. We did have a pretty big rally into, into the close, but I mean, it just wasn't enough. Looking at SPY, you know, it was down six, almost six and a half bucks down. It was down over 2% at one point in time. So I'm gonna be talking about what I was looking at for tomorrow, kind of what my expectation is for the week, kind of gearing up here. But if you could do me a big favor, hit the like button, helps out the video, help out the YouTube algo. And if you want to join our the UVH fam, our community, link is below in the description to our Discord and our options trading group on Facebook. So what was interesting for me today was what SPY actually closed down on the day below the 50 day moving average. You know, close here at 339. 50 day moving average was at 340. We closed at 339. Sure, we can get a little bit of a bounce here, but we had, you know, we've, we've been kind of grinding lower, 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 even though we've had some massive, massive upside or massive days to the upside or intraday swings that actually, you know, ended up getting sold off. Sold off. And then on Friday, we had a pretty big. We had a pretty big day as in terms of gapping up and just pushing up, but it stayed underneath the 10 day moving average. And then we came back below here under the 50 day today. Same with Q's. Q's resting right below the 50 day moving average as well. Closed above 280 though. So that's good. The Q's are kind of interesting to me right now, mainly because, you know, we have a lot of tech earnings this week starting tomorrow. I didn't I didn't trade any tech or I didn't I'm sorry. I didn't trade any earnings today. I didn't trade Chegg or Twilio. I didn't trade Caterpillar. I didn't trade any earnings. So I'm like I, I just want to see what happens. Today was kind of a crazy day. You know, on the on my trades it's not showing here cuz the market just closed up and these gains go away or losses. I actually you know, out of these trades here, I actually lost 36 bucks today out of all these trades. So not not a great day. You know, the market was kind of moving a little bit fast. I Honestly, I didn't have the execution that I was hoping to have. So at the end of the day, I mean, it's not a big deal. It did cost me $36, which is not good, but I'm more worried about the process and the execution, not so much about the amount of money that I made or lost. You know, people are like, hey, why didn't you make X amount of money? Or why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do that? And honestly, during the live stream this morning, I just kind of said, hey, I'm going to sit back. I'm going to relax. I'm going to try to do a couple of trades. I'm not going to try to get too aggressive because we have a bigger earnings week. And then next Tuesday is the election. You know, I don't want to be bag holding... I don't want to be bag holding any options going up into the election. I want to have a clean slate right now. I have a clean slate. I only traded the NASDAQ today, NASDAQ, uh, the NASDAQ mini futures. So right now I'm only just kind of chilling back. And if I can get some pricing, right, selling some options, that is what I plan to do. Now, Chegg and Twilio definitely would have been pretty good for selling some options on. So Chegg, you know, within the expected move right now it is down about, Four bucks expected move on Chegg, 18 bucks. I mean, obviously they're on monthly cycle, so it's gonna be a little bit extended. Implied volatility is at 96%, so I didn't really wanna trade the monthlies on that. Twilio expected move on this was 28, 103% IV. And you know that's only moved down five or four bucks right now. So it definitely would have been good to sell some premium in there. I just really wasn't sure about Chegg being in the middle of the rage here. I saw that a low of possible 280, high of 340 area, and I just wasn't sure which direction it was gonna go. So I didn't trade that. But I am going to be looking at Microsoft and AMD. Now, Microsoft, you know, kind of the game plan here. For Microsoft, I mean, Microsoft just, I mean, it took a beating after it tapped out. I mean, I can't believe, you know, like a lot of the tech stocks and NASDAQ pushed up this morning. You can see this on the NASDAQ, it pushed up, you know, about 150 points or so pushed up. But Microsoft pushed up from 214 up to 216 and then all the way back down, all the way down to 208. Now, Microsoft is an, is, is an interesting place because it's basically near where it was last earnings. And people are like, oh man, it's gonna do amazing, it's gonna do great. And sure, they had a great, they had good, they had good earnings, but it was priced in, and that's what I'm worried about right now. Our earnings being priced in. AMD as well. AMD, it's up extremely high compared to last earnings. Like where where's it gonna go now? And I think it's always it's gonna rely on what guidance is gonna do. I mean, the thing is being up here 
a tiny little bit of bad news, this thing is going to tank, or at least I believe so. This is not investment advice. I'm just for entertainment purposes only, but I think that AMD, if it has a little ounce of bad news, I do think that that dip will be bought, but if you're trading options on it, you don't want to screw up your, your position. Or right now, I mean, right now it's at 82. I mean, it could definitely go to 75, it can go to 90, or it can crack below. Expected move going into tomorrow right now, seven bucks, and I feel like it could definitely go more than that, or it could just not go anywhere at all. Maybe it's priced in, maybe it's like, oh, that's what we expected. So, you know, you don't have to trade earnings before earnings. You could trade earnings after earnings. Like just because you missed possible opportunity, like be like, oh man, I missed selling premium on, Tw on Twilio. I knew that was priced in, blah, blah, blah. You can trade after earnings. There's gonna be another opportunity for you. This week is going to be a wild ride. You know, there's gonna be a lot of lot of opportunities for you. So don't dis don't get discouraged if you miss your entry. You miss, I mean, you're gonna you're gonna be discouraged if you miss your miss your exit. You want to be very very careful here though. So don't be discouraged if you miss an opportunity. There's always gonna be new opportunities, and we kind of trick ourselves into believing like, hey, you know, there's not gonna be another opportunity. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know. You're right. You don't know what's gonna happen. But don't tell yourself the lie that there's not gonna be another opportunity. There's always going to be another opportunity every single day. And sometimes maybe there's one opportunity per day, or sometimes maybe there's 50 opportunities on, the, on, the, on one stock. Obviously there's millions of opportunities in the market, but you can't trade them all, you can't concentrate them all. So you have to pick a few stocks that you're looking at that you can that you could trade well, whether you're swing trading or day trading, and you just want to be extremely careful, especially going into the election this week. The market was, you know, I wanna say down on the coronavirus. You know, we are locking down more in Illinois currently. So I'm not sure exactly what that means for the rest of the country, but in Illinois, I'm in the Chicago area. Illinois is locking down some more. I don't know how this is gonna end up. Maybe people are gonna defy the order. Maybe people are, are gonna, you know, I, I, we don't know what's gonna happen. We don't know what's gonna happen, but the case is coronavirus numbers are going up. The, the, the Illinois, California, those types of states probably gonna be locking down before Florida, Texas, that, you know, you, you get what I'm trying to say here. So what I'm saying right now is just tread lightly, pick a couple stocks, whether it's Spy, whether it's Apple, whether, you know, Microsoft, whatever you wanna trade. Apple is another one coming up into, they have earnings on Thursday. We'll talk about this later this week. You know, pretty wide range here. It did close green by a penny. Amazon, I mean, Amazon also has earnings Thursday, so I'm keeping an eye on Amazon. I mean, this thing went, was up at some $1.75 on the day and then came all the way down to 31 31 50 before bouncing and it did close green by two bucks. I mean, that's pretty good. I mean, we could get a bounce here, which is why I covered my short positions. I'm like, all right. You know, I'm down 36 bucks on the short or whatever. If we get a pop up, you know, going into earnings, and that's my main concern is we get, if, if you're short and you're heavily short because you're like, oh, you're like, oh, this thing's coming down, everything's going down. I mean, we could pop back up here. Spy could pop back up here. Apple could pop back up. You know, the catalyst is earnings. If earnings are good, then it's going to generate a little bit of buzz in the market. Give something, give something, give the market something else to talk about other than coronavirus and doom and gloom, right? And the other thing is, you know, let's just be honest. There's probably not going to be a stimulus. I mean, they say there's going to be a stimulus, but the the market's going up and down on on stimulus talks. Like they're just talking. I don't think anyone's doing anything. So we'll see what happens. If you made money, comment below got paid if you lost money comment below learn a lesson and if you watch this video to the end comment watch to the end